What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at the camera settings in the camera app on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So the camera module on Samsung's S22 Ultra is Samsung's most advanced yet and it comes with software features that will hopefully utilize the lens capabilities. So what you want to do to access the camera settings on the S22 Ultra is to go into your camera app here. From there you want to hit the settings button at the top left of the screen here. And this will load up the camera settings. Just a small heads up, the settings available to you will be dependent on whether or not you're in front facing or rear facing mode. So let's go into some of the settings here. At the top of the list is Scene Optimizer. Scene Optimizer is where the Samsung S22 Ultra will use AI to read what you're shooting. If you're shooting things like documents, Scene Optimizer will optimize the output image so that the use of the image is maximized. For example, with documents, it will use AI to render the document in a way that's the most easy to read. Next is Shot Selection. Shot selection is on-screen readouts that help you get the best shot depending on what is being shot. Scan QR codes allows you to scan QR codes and open up the QR link from the QR code. Next you have swipe shutter button. Here you can change what you want to do when the sw shutter button is swiped. This can either take a burst shot which takes several shots or it can create a GIF which allows you to create a small animation based on shovel shots. Next up is picture formats. Here you can turn on high efficiency pictures which is HEIF. This will save some storage space. You can also turn on raw copies and of course this will take up a lot more storage space on your S22 Ultra. Next we have selfies. Save selfies as previews allows you to save selfies and selfie videos as they appear in the preview mode without flipping them. Next is selfie color tone. Here you can change the color tone of your selfies. Next is videos. Here you can access auto FPS if you are in video mode of your camera app. This will change the frame rate of the video depending on what you're shooting. Next is video stabilization, which of course will stabilize the video, and Samsung has made great headway in video stabilization over the years. Next we have advanced recording options. Reduce file size changes the saved format of the video so that you can save space on your S22 Ultra. HDR 10 plus videos is Samsung's latest high dynamic range video and here it will use AI to optimize videos with high dynamic range. Next we have tracking autofocus. This is a great feature where once you select the subject in the shot, Samsung will focus on that shot. Next we have grid lines, which is of course your rule of thirds grid lines. And next we have location tags, which allows you to add locations, metadata to each of your videos. And next we have shooting methods. From here you can adjust several ways of shooting on, the, on your phone. Here you can adjust what the volume keys do, which by default takes a picture or records the videos. Next, we have voice commands, which allows you to turn on or off voice commands like smile, cheese, capture, or shoot. Next, we have floating shutter button, which allows you to move a second shutter button around on the screen, just for easier access in the event you're taking a awkward selfie. And next is show palm, which shows the palm of the, on your camera to take selfies or to start recording selfie videos. Next we have settings to keep, which keeps the camera settings default every time you close and open your camera app. Here you can turn on the default camera mode, the default selfie angle, the default filters, and if super steady is turned on by default, and of course if portraits are zoomed in on by default every time you open and close your camera app. Next we have vibration feedback which of course will turn on or off vibration each and every time you depress the shutter button. 
And below that you have privacy notice and permissions, which are just settings for your phone, which don't actually affect your shot altogether. So there you have it everyone, just a quick rundown of the settings that you have available to you on the S22 Ultra. This is Samsung's most advanced camera yet, and things like HDR10 and Samsung's ever improving super steady do make it a great frontline competitor to things like the Google Pixel and the iPhone. So if you found this video helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.